ever wondered how the design of an aircraft cockpit impacts the efficiency and safety of a flight? Ergonomics, the science of designing equipment and workplaces to fit the worker, plays a significant role in aircraft cockpit design. Ensuring the cockpit is ergonomically sound is crucial for the efficiency of flight crew operations and has a profound impact on flight safety. A well-designed cockpit is more than just a control center. It's a workspace that offers the best system performance and the highest level of capacity for pilots. It's about creating an environment that supports the physical and psychological needs of the pilot while maintaining the functionality of the control devices. The aesthetics and ergonomics of the cockpit go hand in hand. It's important for the pilot to be as comfortable as possible during both long and short flights, but it's equally important for the owner to feel satisfied with the look and design of the cockpit's controls. The cockpit is the control center of the airplane housing the control panel and flight instruments. This is where the pilot and co-pilot spend hours controlling the plane both when it's on the ground and in the air. Their comfort is paramount, especially during long hauls. Important factors for ergonomic comfort include accessible control devices, smooth control movements that require little or no effort, and comfortable and custom yokes and other controls. The design of the control wheel is also a vital ergonomic consideration. The devices and backgrounds must be the correct colors for the appropriate pilot psychological responses. The yoke must be the right shape and size for the pilot to exert the correct amount of force but not excessive force. Aircraft designers and operators take the quality of the man-slash-machine interface in an airplane's cockpit seriously. They ensure the cockpit is stylish, comfortable, and practical. Physical ergonomics evaluation of civil aircraft cockpit control devices has become increasingly important for aircraft engineers when designing a pilot-centered cockpit. In conclusion, the ergonomics design of an aircraft cockpit is a complex process that involves considering the physical and psychological needs of the pilot, the functionality of the control devices, and the overall aesthetics of the cockpit. A well-designed cockpit is not just about aesthetics, but it's a crucial component in ensuring smooth and safe flights. What comes to mind when you think of a cockpit's design? You may envision a sleek, futuristic command center, but aesthetics are just one piece of the puzzle. A well-designed cockpit is a delicate balance between form and function. It needs to be visually pleasing, sure, but it also needs to be a practical workspace for the pilots. Ergonomics, the science of designing for efficiency and comfort, is paramount. The controls, the displays, the seats, everything must be positioned for easy, intuitive use. Pilots spend hours in the cockpit, so comfort is key, both for long and short flights. But let's not forget the owners who want their investment to not only perform well, but also look the part. Therefore, the design must also be aesthetically pleasing with a harmonious blend of colors, materials, and shapes. So, a well-designed cockpit is both visually pleasing and comfortable for the pilot. A true testament to the harmony of aesthetics and ergonomics. What makes up an aircraft cockpit, you may wonder? Well, let's dive right into it. The cockpit, usually positioned at the front of the airplane, is the nerve center of the entire aircraft. It's where the magic happens, where pilots command the plane from the ground up into the skies and back. This space is home to the control panel and flight instruments, the tools of the trade for pilots, if you will. The control panel, a sea of switches, buttons, and dials, is the primary interface for pilots to interact with the aircraft systems. Everything from engine controls, navigation and communication systems to environmental controls, you'll find it here. The layout of these components is not random, it's meticulously planned and positioned to optimize pilot interaction and minimize error. Then we have the flight instruments. These are the pilot's eyes and ears, providing crucial information about the plane's status and the environment around it. They tell the pilot about the aircraft's altitude, speed, direction, and many more. These gauges and screens are typically arranged in a T or six-pack layout for easy readability and quick reference. The placement of both the control panel and flight instruments is critical to the efficiency of pilots. It's all about ergonomics. The controls need to be within easy reach, and the instruments need to be clearly visible. This allows the pilots to operate the airplane smoothly, reducing their workload and increasing their situational awareness. And let's not forget about the yoke or stick and the rudder pedals, the primary flight controls. 
They translate the pilot's inputs into movements of the aircraft allowing it to climb, descend, turn, or maintain level flight. These controls need to be responsive and comfortable to use even during long flights. In essence, the cockpit is a carefully designed workspace tailored to the needs of the pilots. It might look complex, and indeed it is, but it's this complexity that gives pilots the control they need to safely and efficiently operate the airplane. Remember, every element in the cockpit is strategically placed to ensure efficient flight operations. Comfort in the cockpit, a luxury or a necessity? When it comes to long-haul flights, the answer is clear. Comfort is an absolute necessity. Ensuring the well-being of the pilot and co-pilot during these grueling journeys is paramount to efficient flight operations. Now, comfort in the cockpit isn't just about having plush seats or room to stretch out. It's about ergonomics. It's about creating an environment that supports the physical needs of the flight crew, reducing fatigue and enhancing performance. So, what does ergonomic comfort look like in an aircraft cockpit? Let's delve into some key factors. First up, we have accessible control devices. These are the tools that pilots use to fly the plane. Everything from the yokes to the throttle levers to the rudder pedals should be within easy reach. This minimizes the need for excessive movement and prevents strain on the pilot's body. Next, we have the concept of smooth control movements. The controls of an airplane should respond to the slightest touch. They should move smoothly and accurately, requiring little or no effort from the pilot. This reduces physical stress and allows for more precise control of the aircraft. Last, but certainly not least, we have customized yokes and controls. Just as every pilot is unique, so too should their controls be. The yokes should be the right shape and size to fit comfortably in the pilot's hands. The controls should be adjustable to suit the pilot's reach. This customization not only improves comfort, but also enhances the pilot's control over the aircraft. So, to answer our initial question, comfort in the cockpit is far from a luxury. It's a fundamental aspect of cockpit design that significantly influences flight safety and efficiency. In the grand scheme of things, comfort in the cockpit is not a luxury. It's a necessity for efficient flight operations. How does the design of control devices impact flight operations? That's a question that's at the heart of ergonomics in cockpit design. Control devices such as the control wheel are vital components in the cockpit. They are the pilot's primary interface with the aircraft and their design can significantly impact the pilot's efficiency and performance. Now let's delve into the specifics. The color of control devices and their background is more than just an aesthetic consideration. The chosen colors can trigger appropriate psychological responses in the pilot, aiding in recognition and reaction times during flight operations. Equally important is the shape and size of the control devices, particularly the control wheel or yoke. The yoke must be designed to allow the pilot to exert the correct amount of force. If the yoke is too large or too small, it could lead to excessive force application, creating a strain on the pilot and potentially impacting flight safety. So, we see that the design of control devices is a delicate balance of aesthetics, ergonomics, and functionality. The design of control devices plays a significant role in a pilot's performance and the overall flight safety. It's a testament to the intricate and detailed nature of cockpit design, where every element serves a crucial purpose. What's the role of the man-machine interface in an airplane's cockpit, you might ask? Well, it's a crucial component that aircraft designers and operators take very seriously. This interface is the touchpoint between the pilot and the aircraft, and its quality directly affects the efficiency and safety of flight operations. A stylish, comfortable, and practical cockpit is more than just appealing aesthetics. It's about creating an environment that enhances the pilot's efficiency. Every dial, switch, and indicator should be within easy reach and intuitive to use. The design should also take into account the demands of different flight phases, ensuring that pilots can maintain their focus where it's needed most. Comfort is also key. The cockpit should be designed in a way that minimizes physical strain during those long-haul flights. This means chairs with the right support, control devices that are easy to handle, and an overall layout that respects the human body's natural movements. In essence, a well-designed man-machine interface takes into account the pilot's physical needs, cognitive load, and even emotional state, creating a harmonious interaction between man and machine. A well-designed man-machine interface can make a world of difference in flight operations. 
How does physical ergonomics evaluation impact cockpit design? Well, the physical ergonomics evaluation of civil aircraft cockpit control devices is paramount for aircraft engineers when designing a pilot-centered cockpit. It's not just about creating a cockpit that looks good, but one that functions optimally, ensuring the pilot can operate the aircraft effectively and safely. Through this evaluation, engineers can identify potential issues or defects in the physical ergonomics design of control devices. It's about understanding the relationship between the pilot and the control devices. How is the pilot interacting with these devices? Are they comfortable and easy to use? Are they placed in a way that makes sense for the pilot's movements? These are all questions that are addressed during the physical ergonomics evaluation. The answers to these questions allow engineers to optimize the control devices ergonomically early in the design process. This is when changes can be made much more efficiently than in the physical design stage. Physical ergonomics evaluation is a crucial step in designing an efficient and safe cockpit. It ensures that every control device is designed with the pilot in mind, enhancing both the safety and efficiency of flight operations. So, how does all of this come together? We've delved into the intricacies of aircraft cockpit design, unearthing the significance of ergonomics in this process. The blend of aesthetics and functionality, the anatomy of the cockpit, the importance of comfort, the meticulous design of control wheels, the man-machine interface, and the role of physical ergonomics are all crucial elements that harmonize to create an efficient, safe, and comfortable cockpit. Remember, the cockpit isn't merely a control center, it's where pilots spend hours controlling the aircraft in various conditions. Ergonomics plays a pivotal role here, ensuring that everything from the control devices to the seats are designed with the utmost consideration for the pilot's physical and psychological needs. In essence, ergonomics in aircraft cockpit design isn't just about aesthetics or comfort. It's a crucial factor that directly impacts flight safety and efficiency. It's about creating an environment where pilots can perform their best, enhancing not only their performance but also the overall flight experience. A well-designed cockpit is more than just a control center, it's the heart of an airplane ensuring safety and efficiency in every flight.